Advised. The sandworm is in pursuit. Starlink database updated. of that tower. I'm getting the feeling there's a lot we don't know about Atlas.
try something else. Analysis. The Nova may be more easily dislodged if targeted with cold weaponry. you, friend. I would have been fauna fertilizer without your help. Mayday. Mayday. My ship's non-responsive. Thank you so much. Now I can return to my studies. Extracting the Nova should take just a moment. Hmm. I'll need to arrange for a replacement. A replacement? What do you mean? Well, you have a captain to find, don't you? A captain that can make Nova no less. Your crew could use a local expert, and I'm not too shabby in a fight either. Uh, you'll have to meet the team and make sure everyone's on board. Then it sounds like a sabbatical is in order. I will meet you there. Just have to find that darn assistant. Oh, you're back! Yeah, I'm good, thank you. I don't need that. I'm busy with, you know, science? Did you mistake us for a different outpost? Are you suffering from space madness? Um, no thanks. I don't remember placing a request for that. Okay, everyone. I got the Nova. And I think I might have made a friend. Really? Guess it doesn't hurt. Well, nice work. See you soon. Almost there. Good. Once we get the Nova loaded, we should be good to go. And then we find Saint Grand. That's right! Yeah, unless he's... you know... Levi? What the heck? What? I hope he isn't. I'm just saying. Don't worry, he's our captain. We won't let him down.
Hey, I'm here. So how do I transfer the Nova? Open your ship's computer. You should be able to launch the repair sequence from the Equinox screen. Nice. If we find any more goodies around here, maybe we can upgrade the Equinox even more. Until then, let's see if this works. Mm. This was a precision strike. They must have tracked our core through the hall. Well, this isn't enough Nova to draw anyone's attention, that's for sure. But Mason's calculations are right. Should be just enough to get us airborne again. Yeah, or just enough to be blown to pieces. Hit it, Chase! Flight capabilities restored. That's your cue. Meet us in orbit and we'll go over the next steps. Okay. We're coming, St. Grant.
Starlink database updated. I have waited so long for this. I foresaw this moment many years ago. Wardens showed me, and now the gift appears. The time has come to harvest Nova. Nova? When the Warden Gods departed so long ago, they took with them the secrets to Nova. You must feed my legion. Look, if you want Nova, it's no trouble. But first, I'm gonna need to get back to my crew. Your crew is lost. You will show me how to make Nova. And you will kneel before your Lord. Thanks, Judge. Listen. I got contacts. They might know who took St. Grant. Let's talk to them first. This is the only intel I trust. The Legion's got a hierarchy, and order's gotta come from somewhere. Let's crack a few more open and see where that gets us. That's not very diplomatic, but it could work. What are we waiting for? Let's get out there! Oh. Leave 
Levi, come on. Oh. Hold on. I need to show you something. Open your ship's computer. Each time you master a weapon or ship, you can come here to gain new abilities and advantages in combat. Nice. Thanks for the update. So like I was saying, the imps on Karit and the drakes that attack Shade are all Legion. So the Legion have to be connected to St. Grand's capture. An interesting theory. But our research points to the fact that the Legion are not intelligent. Which means someone's controlling them. We just need to find out who. Wow. You guys sound just like a prospector I know. That Haven old-timer was always on about the Legion hierarchy. Great. I'll go talk to him. Wait, 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 wait. I meant you guys are nuts. Are all humans this dense? Look, I saw the ones who took St. Grand. They weren't robots. If this guy's got a theory about that, we should hear it. Fine. If you guys want to talk to Eli, go ahead. But I'm warning you, he's a little on the cranky side. You sure that's not just when he's talking to you? Oh, so you do have a sense of humor. Good to know. Oh, one last thing. Your hyperdrive is back up. Just don't run into any asteroids. We only got so many spare parts around here. Thanks. I'll try to be careful. Hyperspace trap.
Equinox, fire on my mark. Okay, boys, grab what you can, and let's get out of here. Come on, let's do this. Yeah, you're going down. I'm picking up some wreckage near your position. Might be worth checking out. database updated.
detected. Hyperdrive disrupted. Ah! Getting knocked out of hyperdrive. Wait, those drakes. Are they chasing someone? Sage, open guns. Channel open. Hey, pilot. Looks like you could use a hand. Beat it before I beat you. You sure about that? Uh, what do you know, Snoop Brain? Maybe I'm luring Legion into my trap. But so long as you're here, I'll let you take a few pot shots at him. Nice to meet you, too. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. a good battle to get the blood pumping. You're all right, pal. Even though you got a puny ship. Puny? It's the same size as yours. Ha! Feisty, too. I like it. Maybe we'll meet again. Guys, did you see what just happened? You're lucky. Most outlaws only got one code. Shoot first, talk never. Man, this place is a freaking danger zone. It's Atlas, kid. Our space has all kinds of loot caches and shipwrecks. And if it's worth picking over, it's worth fighting over. Why else do you think those drakes were after me? Indeed. We expeditions stay within our planetary gravity wells for a reason. Even the prospectors rarely see space these days. See? Even the eggheads got street smarts. It's the way we live. Or else we don't. Okay, just made it to Haven. Wow, the view definitely beats the last one. Might be hard to spot your friend, though. Just keep your eye out for an old refinery. Should be near a river. I'll do my best. So, Shade, have you known this guy long? No offense, but you don't seem like someone who makes friends with, well, anyone. Hey. I never said we were friends. We met back when he was still taking jobs. Used to be one of the baddest bounty hunters around. Used to be. Eli's like 300 years old. Saw too much of the world and stopped making sense of it, I guess. 
Always ranting about the world being secretly run by Krakna or whatever. One day he just packed it in and set up his own digs. Always ranting about the world being secretly run by Krakna or whatever. One day he just packed it in and set up his own digs. I know the feeling. When I started developing Starlink, I tried to get funding. Everyone thought I was crazy. Well, jury's still out on that. Pricklebur attached. Throw or attack the Pricklebur to dislodge it. Starlink database updated. Looks like the refineries up ahead. Hold it right there. You're on private property. Move along before you make another mistake. I know. I, I just need a second of your time. My friend Shade said when it comes to the Legion, you know more than anyone. I'm hoping that was true. Shade? That meter never listened to a word I said. Okay, forget about Shade. Just answer a few questions and I'll be out of your hair. I mean, leaves. Uh, feathers? Huh? Here's the deal. I ain't in the business of being made a fool. You want me to play along? 
You're gonna have to make it worth my while. My refinery's been combing the area for minerals, but there's a couple of types we're still missing. You scare up a rare one for me. Maybe we talk. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Dude, that's awesome! Another alien, bro! For the win! Just remember why we're here. Friends are good, information is better. Partial scan complete. Scan more specimens to complete the DNA profile. Partial scan complete. Scan more specimens to complete the DNA profile. Partial scan complete. Scan more specimens to complete the DNA profile. Partial scan complete. Scan more specimens to complete the DNA profile. Warning. Prickle burr attached. Throw or attack the prickle burr to dislodge it. DNA profile complete. Fauna identified. Wow! It's gorgeous! It's called a Sunstrider. They're apparently not very friendly, though. Proximity alert. Outlaw fortifications detected.
Warning. Prickle burr attached. Throw or attack the prickle burr to dislodge it. Since you did me a favor, I'll throw some of that electrum your way, from time to time. All right, let's talk. You want to know about the underground, the gears running beneath our boots, our feathered foes behind the masks? We want to know if someone's controlling the Legion. We think they took our captain. Doubt it. Grax doesn't like to show his face. Grax? Is he the one who sent Drakes after us? Drakes are his eyes and ears. He wouldn't have come himself unless they spotted something real pretty. Seems you piqued his interest. Why don't you help us both out and see for yourself? Starlink database updated. Receiving this! I'm stranded! Help me! Ah, get off! Appreciate it, pal. Thought I was a goner for sure. Collect some old wreckage. It's the only way we keep these junkers in work in order. If you find some, bring it by the refinery. Try and avoid Legion patrols all you want, but believe me, the only way to stop them is to take out their extractor. The Legion Drake crashed here not too long ago. You hacked that core of his, and that'll give you an idea about how the Legion and Grax talk. Just let me know what you find. On it!
our prospector allies have delivered a shipment of Electrum. Advised, I am detecting a rare form of electrical energy nearby. Thank you. 
looks like I'm nearing the crash site. That info you want's lodged inside, so you'll need to hack it. Just make sure you stick close by, otherwise that hack will sever. Good luck. Launching data decryption. Warning. Legion reinforcements have arrived. Orbital strike incoming! Yo, we got a fresh one. Let's get him. Yeah, you're going down. Starlink database updated. All over it. You think it's this Grax guy? Huh, what an unfortunate name to have. You're giving Eli too much credit. I think he believes it's actually Grax controlling the Legion. Like, the literal Grax. Dude, I'm sorry. I am so lost. What's a Grax? Ah, a formidable creature. Legend has it he was born hundreds of years ago in a forgotten tomb. Or he lives on the sun and communes with the ancient wardens. Depends on the story. Oh, so he's the boogeyman. But like, real? It's just a tale outlaws tell each other. I wouldn't worry. Thank you. 